Hi, kitten internet. As usual, I am here with my little heat sink, Kitty <laughs> No, I'm not going to explain. Anyway, um, all I did was drop things off at the lodge, and I went over to the weapon shop. All I've done is buy ammo for the sniper rifle. There's nothing else that I wanted from the gun store. Yeah, you did start a recording. I yes, just... I did. It's blue. Well, that doesn't actually help, but... It's 43 seconds. Okay. I just... <laughs> I lose little bits of short-term memory sometimes. This is very shortly after the previous video. For us. I'm swimming. My cats are catting. I'm lost in the trees. You can't zoom in water. Unfortunate. All right. Captain, over here. This does not auto trigger. Also, that is not good. No. Hold on a moment. I'm. When does it stop? Does it stop? Not particularly, no. Are you working toward that next technological Still flickering. Hmm. But we took care of the power drain from Galbank. Yes, we did. But apparently we didn't take care of the power drain of the fact that FSR is enabled. Because that's an AI glitch. Guineas. One moment. But you have to give him space when he's in that mood. Cats. I mean, they're behaving much better since we've moved here, but... But we also haven't lived here for more than a few days. Indeed. It's a little early to tell. Indeed. But... Right. Ugh. The workup's in the cabinet's hands. They said they'll call for us once they've gotten to properly review it. But listen, I know I should have been more forthcoming about who I was earlier. So, in the interest of full disclosure... Uh-oh. There's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. My relationship with the UC. It's more complicated than it might seem at first glance. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first UC place. UC President's your wife? I... am a clone. Oh... Of a man named Francois hey. That explains why I had heard the last name. ...of the UC during the Colony War. Former head of the UC Navy. They called him Vae Victus. Woe to the defeated. In Old Earth Latin. A title he earned. The program... I was a part of it was the UC's attempt to create a new generation of military minds from one of their most respected tacticians secure the leadership of the UC military for generations to come there are other clones I'm the last a few of my siblings they passed when we were young training accidents and the like but most of the rest were deployed to the front lines during the colony war, and they never came back. Not a day goes by where I don't think about what the world would look like with them still in it. So uh, you're a clone of the Admiral? How's that work? A non-trivial amount of gene editing. Clone, honestly, isn't even really the right term for our relationship, thanks to the amount of donor material that was required to bring me into this world. He and I are different on more than a few levels, but there's no denying the fact we're inextricably linked. I mean, I've already seen some of the things about 
the Admiral, but... He would have happily told you he was one of the greats. Ultimately, though, it didn't matter. The man I was cloned from, my father, was executed for acts he committed during the war. The man caused a lot of death on both sides. Freestar Collective and UC. Military and civilians. And the things he did, well, they're a part of the reason the UC and Freestar Collective aren't really on great terms to this day. <laughs> so my involvement, it could be another obstacle they throw at us up there. I just wanted you to be forewarned. So this is going down the line of where I'm thinking the plot is going. But not quite in exactly the way I wanted it. Or expected it. So I expected it was some UC scientist that got annoyed about the fact that Xeno Warfare research had been abruptly halted and went off and tried to do it on their own. I'm going to say instead of some tie-in scientist, I'm going to say a clone. Or alternately the actual admiral, one of those. But my family was messed up. No, we have parents. Yeah, that we have parents. Love us, so they're, they're not messed they're up. They're just over in the apartments. Mm -hmm. He had his men open fire on civilian ships during the Battle of Cheyenne. A battle that he ultimately ended up losing anyway, devastating the UC fleet and bringing the colony war to an ugly end for the UC. But he's also the one who ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport during their outbreak condemning countless lives. Both sides agreed the settled systems would be better without him. Yeah, so that was during uh, Vanguard orientation where um, the Free Star Collective used civilians as human shields. Yes. What I they, knew what, what they, that meant. What they didn't say is that the UC military fired on them anyway. Mm hmm Uh... Your family doesn't exactly sound like Paragons of Virtue. That's Aww. not an unfair assessment. But what we're doing now, so your help means a lot more than it. I just thought you... You know, while we've got a second, was there anything else we needed to discuss? Or if you've got any last-minute business... And I'm telling how long the cabinet's gonna keep us... I finally get to ask about the eyes. That's actually a souvenir from my time on Mars. The Red Devils unit I was a part of, they were founded by recruits who'd worked some of Mars' deepest mines. Folks used to adversity. The dust at those depths, it seeps into everything. The human eye included. Where the name Red Devils came from in the well, first place. your eyes place, are more brown than red. It but... became an unwritten rite of passage that anyone wanting to enlist with the Devils had to do a stint in the mines before they could join up. The devils were always talked about in such revered tones during my training, so as soon as I was old enough, I signed up, and the eyes were my parting gift. Anything more about Daddy? I mean, we never spent a lot of time together. He was too busy being Fleet Admiral to deal with kids. I was raised by a pair of guardians instead. Until his defeat during the Colony War, though, he was known as an extremely effective commander. Savvy. Perceptive. That mind opened a lot of doors for him. And for me, too. But Bay Victus, for all his ability, was heartless. Ruthless to a fault. In the end, that's what cost him his life. Yeah, something about the whole, I don't think the UC would have been willing to actually kill him, comes to mind. <laughs> so, any suggestions well, of what to say? Thinking about it more, I suspect there'd be value in sharing the fact that the Terramorph project was, well, a failure. There's no need to be afraid of this data being weaponized. Knowing that should calm some of the Cabinet's fears and make it easier for us to dispel any suspicions the other factions might have about our intentions. So, oh, what are the risks of us accessing this I data? strain from the amount of reading I've got on the horizon. <laughs> the Terramore Project never went anywhere. It couldn't. They are deadly creatures, but they aren't Xenoweapons. The Cabinet not opening the archives is probably... Which probably wouldn't be a bad point for us to bring up. 
Nope, no questions. And I guess it's just a matter of. Oh, who would have thought? Mm -hmm. Because Sounds like God forbid we have to wait for anything. Here we go. Well, we don't have a wait button anymore. We yep. have to sit down to wait. Yeah. Sorry, Sam. I'm a little sarcastic sometimes. Standard Bethesda walking speed. Which is somewhere between crawling and walking. Oh, we get to go stand. I look out of place. Ah, welcome. You must be the captain Hadrian mentioned in her report. You have our thanks for the risks you faced in securing this information. Yeah, Hadrian made it clear that addressing this issue required the utmost urgency. Oh, I'm sure she did. Yes, well, precisely how urgent is what I hope we'll determine here today. So now, we have two petitioners here making a surprising request. Access to the UC Xeno Warfare team's Terramorph data, currently housed in the Armistice archives. A request which will require not just this body's agreement, but that of all three Armistice signatories. UC, Freestar Collective, and House Varun. Now, Captain, we've all read Hadrian's report on the subject, but we have yet to hear from you. Perhaps you could summarize for the cabinet what it is you see as the goal of this endeavor. Oh, well, let's see. Don't need to remind me what's kept in the archives. I've been talking to people so often. I'm not just here to talk about what's happened. We are here to stop a terramorph apocalypse. But we're still trying to figure out what we're facing. Yeah. Hmm. That is something to consider. Though we also have to take into account the nature of the data you require. Madam President, I object to the very premise of this meeting. While no one would argue that what happened on Tau Ceti was anything less than a tragedy, paramorph attacks are not some sudden new threat on the horizon. They've been happening for generations. To demand we hand over banned archival knowledge and possibly upset the balance of galactic diplomacy because of a single attack seems at best panic and at worst a power grab by the daughter of a bloodthirsty warmonger and her associates i would remind the chief diplomat who he's speaking to if it's my father you're looking to address you're welcome to consult yes. a medium i would also ask how many deaths the cabinet requires to act 50 50 thousand because if tragedies like Tau Ceti are just prelude to more attacks, I have no doubt you'll get the body count you require. Let's keep this civil, shall we? And that was civil. No that doubt, was civil. The preservation of life stands paramount among this body's duties. Chief is seen has a point. Will a single attack, however troubling, be sufficient to convince the other factions to grant us access to what they no doubt consider weapon data? I don't think it's enough. Perhaps you can help, Captain. As the one who actually collected the sample in question, um, does Terramorph seem at all alarming to you? Duh? I mean, it wiped out a colony that never saw it coming. I mean, I went with the... It seemed like a t normal Terramorph to me. No, it definitely wiped out an entire colony. Yeah, but that was five people. That is worth considering. This attack took place on an almost completely uninhabited world. The casualties were minimal as a result. But if there's another attack, will we be so lucky? Hmm. Yes, a fine point, Admiral. So then, Captain, given the discussion now and the information you've been privy to thus far, if you were in our position, would you grant the request made to open the archives? 
The archives are sealed for a reason. Personally, I'd wait. The fear is being weaponized. The material program failed. I think this is the correct answer from my perspective, mm -hmm. because we know, well, in theory, the Terror Morph program failed, at least according to what we've been told. And I'm not so sure the attack on Lindidian wasn't as successful as Cena went through. Yeah, thing. that's kind of what my thought is. But, yeah, as far as we know, they can't be weaponized. Right. And that data may be the key to stopping untold suffering. Greater good is calling. You gotta pick up. That? I hadn't thought of that, Captain. An excellent point indeed. The other powers would likely be much more inclined to work with us knowing that. Chief Diplomat. That? That point? Is a good one. Very well, you have my agreement. The galaxy is lucky you were here today, Captain. Didn't even need a persuasion You and skill. I are in agreement, Chief Diplomat. So, if there are no other objections, uh -oh. I believe we can agree to give our full backing to make the request to... What was that? Attention. Attention. An incident has occurred. Attention. 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 Well, good to know this happens even if you get their permission. Chief Sarkin, what's happening? There's been an attack at the spaceport. Of course. Terramorphs. Terramorphs? More attacks, just as predicted. Good God. Huh? Holy, we need to move. There, there must be another explanation. The creatures evaded our scanner somehow. There will be plenty of time for conjecture later. Chief Sarkin, order the evacuation of the spaceport and have your men contain the things, but do it discreetly. The last thing we need is a citywide panic. Yes, ma'am. Admiral Logan, the local barracks can provide support? I'll make the order myself. Nearest anti Xeno squad, though, is off world. It's going to take a while to bring them in. Well, then, we'll have to make do with the tools we've got. But my benign divine stay off. We can't risk those things getting out of the spaceport. I want you both on the next train there. We'll let them know you're coming and that you've dealt with these things before. Now go show them how it's done. Okay. It's never easy, you know. Captain, I'm right behind. Making decisions Let's get down there. could end the lives of soldiers pledged to your cause. Any day you make it through is a victory. And I get both. Yes. Goodbye. Wanted to make sure. There. Did they say there was an attack? What, what the hell is going on? Apparently, the elevator only works between those two floors when there's an attack to allow the xenomorphs up to where they're at. Be That's it. It's an equinox modified to do EM damage. You need it. Yeah, now, now hit him with everything you got. Help you. <laughs> It's not the security guard. I was hitting the citizen, or at least attempting to. Mm -hmm. I've never actually used the M weaponry, by the way. Yeah, the problem here is Sam is attacking with regular weapons. Fortunately, they're essential, so he can't kill them, but yeah, they're down. And they're gonna stay down for quite some time. Next time I'm doing this, I'm bringing my Nova Blast Disruptor that does over 100 EM damage. Yeah, uh, so for reference, one of the things that I did between videos... Your press marker is pointing out. Oh. oh, there's one civilian that's just down from Sam, so... Help us! I had that exact same problem. Um, so they actually gave me a heads up that I would want an EM weapon. I don't have any, and there were none at the weapon shop either. Thank you for what you did. We didn't... we didn't want to hurt them. The way those people were acting. I've seen this before. They were under the Terramorph's influence, weren't they? I... 
I don't know. Talk to they were down at the port and they just started screaming. We tried to restrain them, get them on the train to get them out of harm's way, but but some of the other officers down there, we couldn't restrain them fast enough. They just started firing on us. People we knew. They went berserk. Thermonic projection. Some Terramorphs, they can induce this fog. It affects everyone differently, but some people just lose control. Turn against everyone around them, even if they don't want to. They're like a puppet. You kill the morph, you break the hold. But this means we're gonna need to be real careful with our fire. And keep that EM weapon at the ready. You telling me that Terramorphs can, can mind control? I'm not suggesting. It's documented behavior. I have never seen that. The result of the projection, though, can vary wildly. We just some saw folks it just happen shrug there. it off. Others hallucinate, and some lose control altogether. They'll All of a sudden, we're in XCOM. Anyone around them, but still be aware while they're doing it. it might be in the worst cases, part. You'll either need to knock them out with EM fire, or free them by killing the Terramorph. So, are you gonna turn on me? I honestly was just wondering the same thing. But no, you don't need to worry about me. I've had a Terramorph try it on me before. I'm not susceptible. So, we'll just have to make sure to. I need to go then. Let's do it. That's unlocked. Please, do what you can. Okay, I'm all about helping innocent people. So yeah, this is a regular Equinox that does Yeah, it's not even a calibrated day. So, do I actually need to stun them all, or should I just run for the terror? Good thing we're not a citizen yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Keep forgetting that this character has garbage for weaponry. Yeah. Only level 14. It was considerably higher level for me. But why am I using the stupid... By the way, it's talking to me. You're dying. Oh, thank you. Didn't notice. Maybe some heart plus as well. A trauma pack, maybe? A little quicker. I'm just back to recharge it so slowly. Sergeant Yumi. Take whatever we can get right now. We've got the remaining creatures locked down on the landing pad. Barely holding Ah, there's more than one. They said you've done this before. Well, one fire team to spare and whatever supplies you need, but I I can't risk them taking over any more of my men. Put those things down and do it fast. We will hold them as best we can. To the fire team is optional. Thank heavens those marines were here. Not sure we would have held. 
heard you might be looking for some backup. You say the word, we're out there on your six. You two have any experience with Terramorphs before? Only the brief they just gave on the way here. But we know how to handle pressure. Surviving a full-on mental assault isn't the same as keeping your cool in a firefight. Might make you more liability than asset. We're not UC security. You don't need to worry about us. We're not afraid, but we'll stay here and hold the line if that's what I opted to not have them yep. engage. You two need to stay put. We're on the line. I can handle a terror morph. I can't handle random innocent people at the same time as a terror morph. Also, switching weapons to something that's less dumb. If I had anything that'd be less dumb. Mm -hmm. I guess, actually, the Maelstrom might be my best option, or the Tombstone. Probably the Tombstone, since I'm going to be at close range. Just looking at my other options, and they all are terrible. Yeah. Almost as though I don't have good weaponry. Welcome back to the pride and joy of the UC. Hello, New Atlantis. Not appropriate, Sam. Level 10. Getting a snipe in my figure, Nanyan. You can. Yeah, I can. I'm not gonna be able to crit, Something's but moving out there. I'm a lot better at sniping than I am at being up close. And it's far enough away where its range attacks aren't hitting me. And I'm occasionally sneak attacking it somehow. This is working. Mm -hmm. not gonna be your day, pal. Nope. Just realized I was holding my breath. There we go. That's one. Only two? Yeah. Okay. Three total. Yeah, I meant. So, yeah. Yeah. That's the last one. Trying to see if I can get a good line of sight on it. It's a bit of a waste, but. Paramorph. I'm not particularly good at fighting them. At least this character isn't. Yeah, you'd need more boost pack training and preferably also boost assaults training. NPCs can be targets. Or that. Now they're on fire, too. Great. As if they weren't scary enough. Not the weapon I was going for. It is in the back. I was trying to. Is this where I'm going to talk this? That's what looks like it. Interrupting your reload. Target down. Nice work, Captain. I wonder what Jacob would think of a co helping to save New Atlantis. Damn if I'm not proud of it, though. Yep. The important part is that there's a bunch of innocent people that was being that were being threatened. 
Where's the other one's body so I can do it? I suppose I could have used the terrain a bit more. Ah, it's not highlighting. And somehow the frontier was completely unscathed. Yep. Good ship. Hello, Hadrian. You okay? Vitals all still where they're supposed to be? Almost hard to believe. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second. In the right place at the... Not in a million years. Another attack. Just yeah, that's way too was. coincidental. Mm -hmm. If this doesn't convince the cat, they were already convinced. Yes, they were. Well, this area has been seen better days. Guess they weren't kidding yeah. about you two. You know, best put the right people in the right place. This is a little too suspicious. But I mean, they did hold the line. Mm -hmm. That is actually true. Certainly doesn't feel like I don't want to think what would have happened if you two hadn't been here. Just glad we could rise to the occasion. Captain, we should report back to the President, let her know the Terramorphs have been dealt with. Take care of yourself, Sergeant. Well, they turn off the waterfall when there's an emergency. Currently. Currently, indeed. That's actually realistic. Good job, Please game. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I tried talking to him too. I thought it might help because I'm a very good medic on my mm -hmm. character. I think I have three perks in medicine. I definitely have zero. I found having at least one perk is very helpful because it gives you options to heal people without spending a man pack off. Mm. Oh. Are you going to? Thing we go. Welcome back to the United Colonies, where everything is fine and nothing bad has happened. Let your people all know how much we owe them today. Yes, ma'am. Ah, there you are. I believe we have some things we should discuss. Yeah, this was way too coincidental. It's full backing to prevent more attacks. Understand? Well, I think we've already finished discussing things. Next time terror boss rear their ugly heads. The UC is going to be ready. Captain? Hadrian? It would appear that the cabinet owes you our thanks for what you did for the city today. As well as an apology. Your concerns about the terror Y'all think? Well, consider them validated. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I like that. I'm not choosing it, but I take my gratitude in credits, real estate, or luxury goods. I know what my other character is going to say to answer this. Of course. I only wish we could have acted sooner. Now, today's events have only clarified our path forward in the eyes of the cabinet. You will have our full support in collecting the Terramorph data from the archives, as well as a subsequent investigation into the nature of these attacks. But to accomplish those goals, we're going to need the right people in the right places. As such, the Cabinet has authorized me to reinstate you, Hadrian, effective immediately, to your former oh dear. of Major. As soon as we've got the data in hand, we want you investigating these attacks and how to stop them. Will you do this? I... Y yes. Yes, ma'am. I'd be honored. Excellent. But as you've both made clear, for such an investigation to succeed first, we're going to need someone to convince the Free Star Collective and... Hey, look, I guess to that's gonna be me. Someone who knows precisely the sorts of dangers the colonies... Yes, you don't need to hint further. ...all the galaxy are facing right now. 
The cabinet wants you, Captain, to be that representative. Uh, why not send a diplomat? You know, somebody with actual training. The cabinet wants progress and wants it quickly. You're already far more familiar with the situation than any yeah, diplomat Yeah, I've killed would be. like six terramorphs. diplomat alive that can claim they helped keep a cadre of terramorphs off the embassy doorsteps. The cabinet was unanimous. They want you. Yeah, my character's probably killed like 50 to 60 terramorphs. But I'm just some vanguard nobody. We see your atypical background as a strength, not a hindrance. The people you'll be dealing with, they're rather atypical. Well, one of them's House Faroon. <laughs> willing to fast track your citizenship upon oh boy, data. citizenship. So, will you help us? I mean, yes, I'm going to help you, but... I'm glad to hear it. Now, we, of course, won't be sending you in without the proper... Do I get weapons? Deputy McIntyre in the Office of Interstellar Affairs will be your guide on gaining access to the archives. You should be able to find her in her office across the hall. And on behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our thanks. You're dismissed. This is not April. Ooh, nearly 10,000 credits. I'm going to go check in with Hello. Chief Engineer Kulkarni. Start getting a plan together for that day. Wow, they updated your subtitles fast. <laughs> Galaxy's too big to be stuck in the same place. But of course, enjoy. Iris, Iris. Thanks. Talking about me is my favorite. Well, we managed an entire civil When? You've been with me the entire time. I kept waiting for the fireworks. I was still waiting after she said goodbye. It was uh, different. Good different. Maybe during the hour you slept? That's, that's <laughs> awkward, like bathroom hygiene. So long. This is not a drill. By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's got more work. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Ah, uh, the hallmark of every office everywhere. Cubicle walls. Nothing is beyond our reach when we work together. Including a giant space baby, because I'm pretty sure that's what that is. To give you these orders, a vanguard captain. You... Yes, sir. I'll make Who sure are you talking to? Oh. On the intercom. That must make you my vanguard captain. Welcome to Interstellar Affairs. I'm Deputy Chief Diplomat McIntyre, Chief Yassine's second-in-command. I heard you were instrumental in protecting the city from the attack. You have my gratitude. I was also informed that you gave quite the presentation to the Cabinet. Chief Yassine wants you to know the Interstellar Affairs Office is fully committed to this endeavor. Accessing the Terramorph data and beyond. We're going to do everything in our power to make sure you have the this tools. This still you feels need. like a trap. And that means first getting you into the archives. I don't know and yet if it's a trap. Ah, correct. you haven't finished the quest line? No. Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, where are. If we continue along this line, we might catch up to where I currently am in the episode after the next. Okay. Hmm. Someone paid attention in current events. Yeah, this was like so five minutes ago, real time. Know that it was originally managed by the three major galactic players. You've repeated it like eight or nine times. It's only granted in cases of dire emergency and requires a one-time use code from each of the three armistice signatories. UC, Three Star Collective, and House Varun. Now, the UC is already on board, so that means we'll need to convince two people. The ambassadors of the Free Star Collective I and House of the Room to hand over their codes. Here. Get them both, and you'll have your data. But that's well, a lot easier there. said than done. Yes. Electrodes. I do the extractor and some sodium. <laughs> really tempted to just. That was great. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> 
both ambassadors have reasons they won't or can't work with us. Now, I'll provide guidance on how we believe you can acquire each code, but ultimately, it'll be up to you to get them both to cooperate. And I do mean cooperate. Threats and violence are off the table here. Oh, it's a good, this is my goody goody two shoes character. But it does mean we need to get you up to speed on who you're dealing with. Who do you want to start with? Ambassador Radcliffe of Freestar or Ambassador Balmore of House Varun? Ambassador Balmore is a challenge. When the rest of House Varun retreated into seclusion shortly uh, okay. after the signing of the armistice, Balmore stayed here. He's since lent his support to a small number of archival requests, so there's real hope he might again. Though claiming to know how a member of House Varun thinks is a quick way to earn yourself a psych eval. I'm surprised I don't see a how Varun. Yeah, Serpent's Embrace. Mm hmm. Dialogue options. House Varun are people just like us. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Thank you, Walt. Of course. Oh, but there is another wrinkle. We're not 100% sure Balmore is actually still alive. Well, that would be a problem. Public appearances were always rare, but it's been several years now since he last poked his head out. Scans of the facility show life signs, but not the kind we were expecting. Heat leeches or terramorphs? Your task is to find him and kindly but firmly remind him of his duties under the armistice. Hey! What kind of life signs did you detect? The Varun delegation brought more than a few of their native flora with them when they set up in the snakes. embassy. Why did it, it have to be snakes? Those plants have been allowed to flourish, making it hard for us to verify. Yes, I know it's flora, and not fauna, and but what's ambassador? Nobody's actually been inside. The embassy is still legally House Varun's sovereign territory, so we're not technically permitted inside. We've snuck in the occasional spy, of course. But the ambassador has proven more evasive than you'd expect for a man of his age. But we're quite sure he hasn't left the city. The man stands out. So what if he's dead? Then you search the embassy for his biometric key, collect your code piece, and we'll go about notifying his next of kin, if we can ever find them. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Here's to hoping we're not chasing a corpse. It would at least be a speedier negotiation. But I, of course, hope the ambassador is alive and well. Now, the embassy front door isn't an option, but our spies have stated there's a side entrance that should allow you access. Here, this device should get you all the way down to the embassy interior. Once you're inside, though, finding the ambassador is going to be up to you. And fair warning, we received a report that alarms might have been tripped inside the embassy during the attacks. Watch out for automated security in there. Now tell me about Ambassador Radcliffe. Ah, the good Ambassador Radcliffe. She's a veteran of the Colony War, and her only goal in life is to make ours miserable. Well then, hope she's doing a good job. <laughs> Thank you all. Now, officially, our office is suggesting you try and negotiate with her. Use your experiences as a member of the military and with the threat we're facing to convince her to lend her support. And who knows? Maybe that'll work. Stranger things have happened. But my suspicion is we're going to have to rely on other tools. That's where my other character would be better. Mm -hmm. Not just because she's a ninja hacker, but also because she's a free star ranger. Also, there are rents to crawl through in there. Of course there are. <laughs> huh. Well, if that's the case, I'll wait till the pleasantly delightful. But we do have one item up our sleeve. UC Intelligence has a recording device planted in the ambassador's oh, living do. quarters, which we suspect you can use to your advantage. But getting caught trespassing is a quick way to land yourself in an embassy holding cell. So, if you are going to try and access the device, this character is not the greatest at stealth. To find a not awful. Without being not seen. greatest. Now we recovered some intel. We believe should be able to help with that. 
But there's also a disgruntled staff member That's you might be able to help for information. Maybe even convinced to work with you. All right. You can tell me about staff members. Name's Cameron Long. He's younger than Ratcliffe. Bears That's less of a grudge towards the UC. I mean, there's a damn he good reason for the grudge. with the ambassador, making him a promising source for information on the ins and outs of embassy life. And someone who very likely hates her guts. Anything else I should avoid? Yes, many. Don't steal anything. Don't get caught anywhere you're not supposed to. Absolutely do not harm anyone. If something goes wrong, we'll do our best to smooth things over. But I can't make any promises. Okay. All right. Here, your diplomatic ID. I'll give them a heads up here on your way. I've gotten Not through the door before, though. The door otherwise. Because I helped Ambassador Amphibious. get there. Chief Yassin wanted you to have some options on how to proceed in there. Now, if you have additional Even questions more money. or require clearance for a new approach we have already discussed, don't hesitate to ask. I'd suggest you start with Ambassador Radcliffe. Approach her while the attack is still oh, fresh the other way around. and her staff. Be and smart out there, Captain. So... Cat. At least the cat was on. <sighs> lower cat does lower cat things. Yeah, but we should also do Ambassador Radcliffe first because that takes less time and we might actually finish before the something? end of this episode. Yep, I was done too. Okay. Yes? What? The Varun Embassy is going to take a little bit. Okay. I will trust you on that one. Oh, hey, look! The sun's out again. Congratulations on joining the ranks of the Vanguard. I asked my boss what they're doing to stop the new alien attacks on the city. He said top minds were on it. Well, <laughs> I guess I'm a top mind now. Please pay for this. Yes. You know, already a good sign that the name of this quest is with friends like these, you don't need enemies. Just saying. Oh, literally Mass District. Not with fast traveling, then. Yeah, it's right over there. The Embassy District. Yeah, I forgot that Mass District is the Embassy District. This space is... Skinny. Sorry that I need sign off from the Interstellar Affairs office before I can set foot in there. Oh, you gotta be kidding. The colony war. No winners there, just orphans and mourners. Give me my job, sir. <sighs> Fine. I'll begin the process. Wouldn't want to withhold the chance for more red tape from the great UC. Kitty. It is really hard to do anything when you're trying to climb on me. Do not trust him up there. You shouldn't. We both have good reasons <laughs> to not trust him over our heads. <laughs> All right. Maybe you would have mixers for expats me. at the embassy every now and then. Only place you can get some good old Aquila City beer. I doubt it, but maybe with Sam with me, it will help. Maybe. You are a visitor? You'll find the ambassador in her office. You just have a shotgun in your hand. Just shotgun. Okay. More shotgun. Well, the I was told. Are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or Always good to get back to free star soil. Even if it is surrounded by new glasses. By the way, there is a magazine in here, and it is in an area you're not allowed in. Of course it is. But it's not too hard to go when the guard is not looking, because he patrols. It's good to be back at the SSC. I assume I'm supposed to go in? No. Fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. In my case, I actually talked to SSNN as uh, a good care. Are you supposed to be in here? Yes, I am. Sorry. Everyone's a little on edge after the attack. Hello, Cameron. That woman is an absolute delight. Oh. Sorry. 
Light. Oh, what? You're the Vanguard captain, right? You know, I was about to board the Nat to the spaceport when the alarm triggered. Sounds like I got real lucky. And like I've got you to thank for things not being a lot uglier. You did get lucky. Too. Doubt the Vanguard would have a lot of recruits if that were the job description. <laughs> <laughs> but, but look, they said you were coming here on official business. The ambassador likes to handle all that personally, even if she does have trained diplomats here to help her. And I don't want to get shipped back to Aquila City, so you should probably go speak to her. Ooh. Yep. You were sent for me? Huh. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Let's go somewhere and talk. This building is Free Star Sovereign territory. So in here, we're the law. Yep. Following the person who seems to actually want to cooperate. I take it this is not the route that you took. No, I just talked to the ambassador. But then again, I have all the persuasion. So you want me to mm -hmm. work and I with don't. you? But why now? Why me? Honestly, I think I'm going to answer the first. Mm -hmm. It's the truth. No, I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. Exactly. And no other city should have to go through what happened here. So then, uh... What would you need from me? The code machine. Okay, uh... <clears throat> First, you need her bio key, and that thing doesn't leave her side. <laughs> Had a chance of splitting the atom with a spoon than me getting that from her. Well, I think there's only one option. The quarters. Huh. Well, that's doable. And you and the UC will be providing me with what for my services? Bribe option? <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope we you get the opportunity to actually follow through on that. There's a utility corridor that leads to the ambassador's quarters, which you can access through the main con. Here, the key. Whatever you do, don't. I'll. Uh, I'll keep an ear out for more. He's ready to be a double agent. Yeah, think. <laughs> He's basically just screaming, please let me be a double agent, over and over again. Uh-huh. Now I'm curious. I say quick saved, so... I'm sorry. Do you have a... Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. She saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it's just a <laughs> that now the UC wants terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Ooh. Ooh. Ambassador, I can't emphasize how important this is. And who might you... Oh, I recognize that face. You're a co, aren't you? Didn't you run away mm. to help that little explorer's club? Really? An explorer's club? <laughs> I am, I've signed up to help my friend here, who's looking to stop a whole heap of needless pain and suffering. Imagine if this happened in Aquila City or Neon. Those Neon would be a lot worse. Let's be honest here. Far, far worse. We owe it to our people to do something. 
It's a disturbing thought, Mr. Ko. And while it is my job to protect the people of the Collective, the way to do that, I believe, is clear. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now. I succeed at persuading her. I'm not going to succeed. No, Captain, I'm not. And I'll tell you why. What you experienced down there at the spaceport? Fought tooth and nail as aliens rampaged in the streets of my... But my aliens were placed... So I'm not interested in... in You have my answer. You're really going to push this? I'm listening. Like Sam said. Yep. Hmm. Coes do have a way with words. I mean, that's my only in on Imagine this. Imagine how it'd look if the next attack occurred in free star space. Yep, that is true. None of these are persuasive. You don't tell somebody that they have mm -hmm. a grudge. No. And she's already stated that she doesn't believe me on this. You know that for sure. Well, apparently that she does believe me. I suppose you're right. Our job and Am I seriously going to succeed at this? This isn't gonna work. It's possible what? I might be letting my history cloud my judgment. You're being very Possibly. persuasive. Well, Captain, you you make some good points. But if I'm really granting you access, I'm All right, let's hear it. concessions. Your access will be limited. You can only take out the items related That's fair. to stopping these terramorphs. The monitors will make sure of it. Mm -hmm. You go in once. You get everything you need on your trip, and never again. Also fair. And all research done with the data will be monitored. If this data is being used to save the galaxy, that the is galaxy more than just fair. The oversight. Free Star scientists will watch your people like hawks. So, do we have an agreement? That's not way too much. That is entirely reasonable. I I had some pause about the fact that we only get to go in once. What if we need more from in there? But I, I went back to Deputy McIntyre and I didn't even get the option of bringing up the one-time thing. But the Deputy agrees, so... Excellent. Follow me. Oh, I don't need to do the sneaky thing. And mm -hmm. for this character, I think that actually makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, we don't have a lot of ammo for the same thing. No, I don't. Why I tend to not use it. Sounds like it was a real mess down at the spaceport. It'll be back to normal the next time we're there. So where is the supposed magazine? Uh, upstairs. Okay. Oh, hey, look. It's that very obvious. generators just this way. No, it's already there. You're... Here, I'll reach out to Deputy McIntyre. We'll coordinate the necessary oversights. To unlikely allies, I guess. Alright. I'm going to make a real save. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to load. Ah. <laughs> I know I only have a minute left, but I still want to see. Mm-hmm. You'll see when your character does this. Yeah, that's fair. Also, the agenda on the wall is kind of funny. Stroud has enough money. Yep. <laughs> Did that say. Employees only. Make it nice that. Yes. We are currently trespassing. So 
only asking me to go to there. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, this is... Yeah. Did you go through the vents as well? No, I persuaded her. Right. Master locked. Why is there... You can't see me because the door's in the way. I'm in our quarters. Agent detected. Patching in playback. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Cameron! Are you alright, Ambassador? It seems the Council of Governors has rejected my appeal to join. Again, ah. you and I are stuck in this colonial rat cage. She's trying to become a governor. And now we can blackmail her with this information mm -hmm. to get a degree. What are you getting at, ma'am? I mean, my request to keep being rejected because they don't want to add a seat, right? But what if? What if one opened up? The mind of heart. In what it used to be. Uh -huh. It's not like anyone would miss him. Eva, I think it's time to get some sleep. Just think about it. Maybe we can... We can reach out to some... <laughs> like I said, I know I've already done it and I'm going to take the uh, save that I had before, but hi Sam your character is definitely taking this path yes This is the room you're not allowed to be in. And the magazine is on that table. Okay. Just wait for the guard to leave. Also, I'm actually sneaking. What I should be doing it's not is not that. Thing. Although now I'm over encumbered, so that doesn't help either. Yeah, but as soon as you threw that door, you're free. Oh. You're allowed outside of this door, but not inside. Oh, well, that actually is easy. And that's it. We can end it here. Yep. Well, no, because I'm going to talk to her. Oh, yeah. You just have to remember to get that magazine on the other side. Yeah. Uh, game? I'm sorry. Do you have an appointment? What are you? Ah, you're the one, Mackin. You have my really game. What you did down there, true. Now she also that now the use I can only presume. Nope, they sent me to beg. Please, please, pretty, pretty, please. Oh, stop! You're in. Let me be frank, Captain. I will not be the one. I know your plan to replace someone on the Council of Governors. Excuse me. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, you're currently broombying into a wall. I mean, don't play dumb, Ambassador. It's embarrassing. Uh, no, no. If the Council found out, I'd lose That's my position. I'd be exiled. I'd be... Look, I believe we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. The issue... Of... <laughs> so perhaps if I can trust you to keep the... You call that negotiation without even offering me a gift? But where are my manners? Here, on my pistol. Pareto. Custom. The ambassador. Holy crap! That's a lot of mods, but it's just the pistol. Well, I. I'm just curious before ending. Uh. Look at the value on that pistol. 
What sort of pistol is that? Um. Uh, base name. Base name. Regulator. Right. I'm not that familiar with regulator mm -hmm. weapons. Just dang, that's a lot of mods on a pistol. And those are some really good mods, and the enchantment itself is really good. Yeah. But not for this character. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this internet, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye! Bye. Oh yeah, need to get the magazine. Um... Load. Okay, if it's just that short of a distance, I can pull that off. Oh yeah, it was easy. The problem I had is that the guard didn't react immediately on me entering the room, so I had saved before picking up the magazine and I got uh, arrested every time. That card. Mm -hmm. but I'm not sure if he's on his way on the round or if he's just about to turn well, around. At the and moment, go back I'm in. safe. Yes. Nope. Nope. Is all that junk really necessary? What are you doing in here? Uh, official business? Talk to the ambassador. You got up. Chris. Is he not gonna care because you got out again? Just double check that you don't have a bounty or anything. No bounty. Okay, you got away with it. <laughs> It was like, well, you're not trespassing right now, so I can't arrest you. You're just angry about it. There's no evidence that you were trespassing. All right. We'll save this here. Now, bye, Internet. <laughs>